Johnny, if you knew you were going to be on camera, you'd have had a shave, wouldn't you, for this tonight? I, I would, you're right. Uh, but uh, I'm heading home straight after the first game. This is the last night of play before yep. the uh, before Christmas. Before yes. Christmas, and a uh, chance to wish everybody a very happy Christmas. So I thought, well, I don't need to have a shave today. And uh, sure, Christmas. Christmas stubble. <laughs> Somebody's going to buy me some razor blades. But I agree with John. Brilliant. Um, I think it's been the most dramatic and entertaining um, first round probably that we've had. Um, I've had the privilege of commentating on the uh, on the Andy Hamilton game, the uh, Gary Anderson game. Highlights really of the first round, I would think. But also the drama of um, top names almost going out. We obviously know about Barney going out, but top names almost going out, like Gary, like Adrian. Uh, like James Wade, who've really had to dig deep, John, and work hard, haven't they? That's right. I commentated on the Barnabas game, and I really believed that uh, with a 12 data in the first leg of the match, and he kicked off the match with a 180, I thought we were going to see vintage Barney, the very best of Barney, because he has been playing quite well uh, uh, in exhibition work, in exhibition play, and some of his uh, away from the cameras uh, darts. But, uh, you know, that, in the end, the champion played played the board, and, and, and that's, that's all he could do. And uh, the, the the most dramatic game for me was the Whitlock one. We all expected Whitlock to be struggling. In the end, he did anything but limp to victory. He was, he was, he was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, really. fantastic performance from Simon, and it just shows what a naturally talented dance player he is. He's, he's, and we all remember two years ago when he went all the way to the final here at the Alley Pally and uh, who knows what he can achieve this time around. I rather fancy he will go all the way again after that. I, th I think the actual injury, in a way, helped him, focused in a perverse sort of way, helped him and helped him concentrate and focus on the job in hand on the board and, uh, uh, and not divert his attention and, uh, and it worked in his favour. Well, you mentioned as well about uh, how a race horse runs better sometimes when it's fresh. I mean, he admitted to not having any practice time really at all, but he just came firing out the box. Uh, like every good race horse, uh, doesn't need necessarily to have had a run last week. Uh, he was he was itching to get on the hockey, I believe, and play that. He owns a horse, you know, wouldn't he? He does, yeah. Yeah. Telling us, us all about it last night. He's due to run at Catterick on Wednesday, which is December the 28th. So I'm hoping she runs. I won't be able to go there, obviously, but I'll be watching her on the television in the bookies. <laughs> You're um, watching more fantastic darts here as well. Yeah. But here's another game I want to mention because I did the Justin Pipe game. Yeah. It went all it went the distance as we expected, and uh, obviously it's not easy to, to, to concentrate even in the commentary box when Justin Pipe's there because he does take a long time. But he had everything, didn't he? Because West Ham flipped, for want of a oh, better word. I mean, Gwynny, I was in the commentary box for the first two sets of that. Yeah, yeah. Wes went two two nil up, so the decision was made to switch me for Rod Studd. That's right. And of course, then Rod has to do uh, another hour and a half's work while my night's over. It was amazing. We thought Wes two nil up. We thought well, potentially halfway to victory, and you know, uh, it was um, tremendous. You know. Uh, Great performance by Justin to bounce back like he did. Yes, and of course, I, when when you left the uh, commentary box and Rod Studd came in, the, the quality of the commentary went down of considerably. Course, yeah, as you, as it, he's saying. actually behind us. Well, yeah. I'm actually just, <laughs> guys, it's he been, can actually hear every word we're saying. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure having you here. Thanks ever so much. Well, a merry Christmas, yep. everybody. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely as well. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy tonight. Thanks very much.